Hi there, friends. I am here to show you how to complete your autumn candy graph. I bet you are really excited to get started on this work. You will need your bag of candy. You will need your box of crayons and you will need a pencil. So go ahead and get those four things because you also need your sheet and come right back here and I'll show you what to do. All right, here we are and you have your paper in front of you. Remember, first things first, we always write our name on our work first, okay? The next thing you get to do is open up your bag of treats. Before you are able to have any of your treats, I want you to finish this assignment first. So here we go. I am going to show you what to do. The first thing I need to do is sort all of my candy. There are three different kinds of candy in this mix. There are pumpkins, there is yellow candy corn, and there is brown or harvest candy corn. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sort through my bag of candy to find out how many of each I have. It looks like I have quite a few of the harvest corn. Okay. The next thing I need to do is decide what color am I going to use to represent the pumpkin what color am I going to use to represent the yellow candy corn? And what color am I going to use to represent the brown? So, and you don't have to choose the same colors I do. For my pumpkin candy, I will use orange. For the yellow candy corn, I'm going to use yellow. And for the brown, I'm going to use brown. So I'm, I have to graph how many I have of each. How many pumpkins do I have? Two, that's right, one, two. So moving up the graph, I need to color in the same number of boxes as the number of pumpkins I have, which is two. So one, And when I'm graphing, I have to do neat work. Otherwise, my information might not be accurate. One, two. How many yellow candy corn do I have? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna move my pumpkins out of the way now. I have seven yellow candy corns. I have a lot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make an X in all the boxes that I need to color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then carefully color each box. The reason that we often will graph information or data, you are a scientist collects, collecting data on your candy bag, is so that we can easily see the difference in the numbers. I can easily see that I have many more yellow candy corns than orange pumpkins. All right. Now the last one I need to graph is my brown candy corn. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's do our X's first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now it's time for some careful coloring. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. And remember, boys and girls, when you are coloring, I am able to color pretty quickly, but I've been coloring for a really long time. So take your time and do a good job. All right, I'm looking at my graph and I can easily see how many of each kind of candy were in my bag. Now, let's fill out the rest of our worksheet. How many of each do we have? Pumpkins. How many pumpkins did I have? Ready? One, two. So on the line, I need to show that I had two pumpkins. The next one is yellow candy corns. Let's count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the line, I need to write a seven. Oops, I can't remember how to write a number seven. Look, down at the bottom is a number line that we can use to help us remember. Let's find the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There it is. Now I remember, slide, slant, seven. All right, now it's time to count my brown candy corn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So on the line, I'm going to write the number nine. Nice work, boys and girls. The, now this question asks, I have the most. Which one do I have the most of? Pumpkins, yellow candy corn, or brown candy corn? Let's take a look at my graph. Which one has the most squares colored in? You're right. The brown candy corn is my tallest bar. That means I have the most. So over here, I'm going to circle brown candy corn. I have the least of which kind of candy? Pumpkin, yellow candy corn, or brown? Least means the smallest amount. Which one do I have the smallest amount of? The fewest. Hmm. You're right. I only had two pumpkins. I can see I have the least amount of pumpkins because its bar is the shortest. So I'm going to circle the pumpkin. All right, I have done all of the graphing and work on this sheet. Now it is time for me to color it with my very best coloring before I turn it in. So boys and girls, I want to see your work and your very best coloring, and then it's time for you to enjoy your candy. I hope you have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy this little treat, and I can't wait to see your work.